six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Well, you saw the launch of the space shuttle, but you didn't hear it. How did I make that sound effect which was recorded on this simple little cassette recorder? Can you think of the way it was done? Well, for a start, when you heard the countdown, it was simply me talking through a paper tube like this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, and so on. What about the sound itself? It was one that you've heard many times before, particularly if you've stayed up to watch the late night movie and waited till a television station has ceased to broadcast for the night. And then you hear this sound on, coming from the set, don't you? It's an awful sound, isn't it? And in fact, if you tune to one of the channels that isn't broadcasting, you can hear it any time of the day. Well, all I did was to have that very low to begin with, and then when I got down to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, I turned the volume control just up a little way, like that, and then for the actual blast off of the rocket itself, I very rapidly turned the volume control up, like... and then slowly faded the volume control down as the space shuttle disappeared into the sky. So that's the way in which you can make the sound effect of a rocket launch anytime you like with a simple cassette recorder and a television set that's switched to the wrong channel. Three, two, one, ignition.